is something that we all love and enjoy. And we all know that it is vital for survival. But how important really is it? It turns out that the human body can go between 20 and 30 days before severe signs of starvation show up with adequate hydration. And death won't occur for 45 to 60 days. With that being said, I'm going to give you three days without eating anything. These Daytrex Emergency Survival Ration Bars. And of course, plenty of water. Now these bars are designed to be kept on boats in case of an emergency. And they have a shelf life of five years. Now we can see when we break them open, they have 18, they have 18 individually wrapped bars. And every single one of these bars has 200 calories in it. So I will be eating six a day for a total of 1200 calories. Now taking into account my age, gender, activity level, weight, and height, I should consume around 2,400 calories a day. That means that these bars will be cutting my caloric intake in half, in addition to all my vitamins and most nutrients being significantly lowered as well. However, there is one thing that will remain the same, and that is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are what will keep you alive and will keep you from going into starvation mode in a survival situation. You see, our bodies break down carbohydrates like sugars or starches into glucose, which is an energy used by our body. Now this glucose gives our bodies enough energy for around six hours. And after then you might get a little bit hangry as some people will describe it. And after 24 hours, your body will go into what's known as ketosis. When your body goes into ketosis, there's not enough glucose to keep your brain going. So instead, the body will break down fatty acids into ketone bodies. And these ketone bodies are used by the brain, like glucose. Since these bars have enough carbohydrates to keep me going, it will prevent my body from going into ketosis and thus starving, even though I doubt my body will function the same. With that being said, let's try one of these out. So first I gotta figure out how to open these. Uh, let me go get a knife. So I got a pen, which is the next best thing. Now I gotta figure out how to open this. So the outside film is very oily, and as you can see when we open it up, it's very, very crumbly. Oh, we just broke it. Let's try it out. It's not that bad. Um, it kind of is like a shortbread cookie, just like not as sweet. Ah, it really is good. This is all I need for three days. Oh, no. I'm only like two hours into it and I'm starving, so I'm breaking into my second bar because I'm hungry and it's crumbling now. It sure tastes like the world's blandest shortbread cookie. Man, you're eating tree bark. I know I am. He's giving it, he's giving it up for science. I'm just about to eat my third bar and I am so hungry. I was doing some research about cravings and what causes them for this uh, for the rest of this video. It just made me even more hungry and I just see so much good food around me and it's killing me, but uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna taste worse every single time I just eat it. So uh, it's about 4.30 and I'm uh, about to eat my uh, fourth bar. And I've been really, really tired. Like, I just woke up from a, uh, like, two-hour-long nap. And I never take naps. So, this stuff is making me really tired. So, it's now time for dinner, and I'm splurging. I got two bars now. Like I said, it's worth every single time. Good morning. It's uh, Monday morning. I'm about to go to school, and uh, it's time for breakfast, so uh, let's dig in. Good afternoon. I just got home from school pretty recently, and I am really, really hungry. I wasn't able to uh, record, you know, while I was eating at school, but I am really, really hungry, um, so. Not only am I really, really hungry, but I'm also craving a lot of foods, but what's the difference between hunger and cravings? Well, it's pretty simple. Hunger is a very physiological need. When the body needs more food, it releases a hormone known as ghrelin. And this ghrelin tells our bodies that we need to eat. Food cravings, on the other hand, are very psychological. And they're much less about survival and more about just making our bodies feel good. When we eat foods that are high in fat or high in calories, such as chocolate or a big cheeseburger, it releases chemicals known as opioids. These opioids bond to receptors in our brain and they make us feel 
feel good about eating those foods. Now, because of my mixture of physiological hunger and psychological food cravings, I think I might kill somebody for a burrito right now. Hello, it's about 7 o'clock, and uh, I think it's time for dinner, so uh, let's enjoy. It somehow still tastes worse every single time. This little dog right here just ate half of my ration bar, so I think I'm going to starve now. Thanks, bud. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. It's the third and final day, and I'm really looking forward to eating some real food. But uh, it's time for breakfast now, so let's dig in. I just got back from school, and I am so hungry. I mean, I don't know if I've ever been this hungry before in my life. Uh, I just weighed myself, and I have lost five and a half pounds since Saturday night when we started this. So that's pretty incredible. I just can't wait for this thing to be over. I'm happy to announce that I'm getting ready to eat my last two bars. It's about 5.30 right now, and at 7.30, it will be exactly 72 hours since I've last eaten any uh, real food. And at that time, I have a pizza that's supposed to arrive at 7.30, and I am so excited for that. So, uh, let's eat these last two bars. I'm doing pretty good here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video, then please leave a like. Or subscribe. Oh, I can't wait. Oh god. It was the best pizza I've had in my life. Thanks.